welcome back everybody to Beam and G. Today is gonna be a really good day. We got a locomotive in Beam and G finally. This is something that I have wanted for a long time. There's not been many train related mods yet for this game, so obviously it's very exciting when a whole new mod comes out. And of course, today is gonna be all about this beautiful Rio Grande. So yes, let me just say, this is a real working train with a real working track. I mean, this thing is legit, and I gotta say, I feel like we're going a hell of a lot faster than 65 kilometers an hour right now. I think we're going a little bit faster than that. It might not be accurate because, I mean, this is a whole new mod and there might be some weird things going on. I gotta say, though, it's got a lot of speed and uh, speed's fun in BMNG. So we're gonna do some fun stuff today playing around with this thing and seeing what kind of shenanigans we can get into. So the first experiment, if you want to call it that, is I want to see if we can actually derail this thing just by its own sheer speed. I feel like it's pretty fast, but uh, we've kind of already been testing this out. Uh, I'm going full throttle with this thing, and there's no sign of it actually derailing. Now, we can obviously speed this thing up a little bit with uh, the power of mods, and I think we're going to have to move on to that. Uh, let's actually just see. I think this thing's got an actual cockpit as well, so yes, as you can see... I uh, gotta say, I'm pretty damn impressed. Now, it's not the most pretty in here, as you can see, but there is a little bit of detail, so that's not too bad. And, uh, yeah, I gotta say, if I was in VR or something, this would be really, really cool. Oh, God, this looks way too thin. Uh, okay, it's just enough to get us by. I mean, you put your hand out that window, and you won't got a hand anymore. All right, so to make this beast faster, we're going to, uh obviously attach a Jado to it, because why the hell not? So we're gonna drop the strength down. Now, I did slow the game down, because I find this is the best way to do this, and we're going to attach that, attach this. That way, hopefully, it stays intact. And where can we attach this? Oh, perfect. We're gonna attach that there. And this actually might be right in the middle of the craft. I hope I did this right, but... Uh, all right, let's see what happens when we go to full. And... Okay, for some reason it's a little bit sideways, but that should be strapped down good. I don't know if I need more than one. Uh... Oh, can you only put one attach point per node? Because I attached this one to the same nodes as this one, and now this thing's doing this weird thing, so I'm assuming... Yes, my assumption was correct. That's why they're sideways. Okay, that makes a lot more sense, and now I made a total mess of this. All right, so for the first try, we're going to give it a one Jado shot. I think this should probably do enough? I don't know. It's hard to tell, but uh, it's attached at least. We're gonna get up to full throttle and then toggle that bad boy on and see what happens to this thing. I'm hoping we can derail it, but I feel like this thing is really well attached to the railroad. I feel like it's actually like magnetized on because when you actually try and put it on the track, it kind of sucks it into place. So I don't think we'll be able to fall off the track, but we won't learn until we try. So uh, yeah, Jado looks like it's doing rather good up there. Let's go over to it, and there we go. Back to ours, and I gotta say, is it really? I don't, I don't know if I trust the, uh, the mileage here, because I feel like this thing's going damn quick. I could be totally wrong, but I don't think it shows signs of actually destroying itself. Did it just slow down? What happened there? Did it, I, I must have accidentally downgeared somehow. All right, well, it seems like the Jados actually don't do too much for this. Uh, we're going to give it a little bit of a run here to see. Uh, there's a few steep curves on this map, but I don't think it's going to happen. We got the big bridge coming up next. This is probably one of the steepest parts of the map. You can see, I mean, we're going fast. We're motoring, but it is not even lifting up or anything. So, yeah. Oh, we're going 73 now, though. It is picking up speed. You know what? Let's just let this thing do its thing, and maybe we can meet it on the track somewhere. Uh, that's not good. Let's just reset that. There we go. Hopefully I didn't destroy the train. Uh, tried to spawn in a Jeep, and I spawned it in on the train, of course. So here we go. We're just gonna, you know, pretend we're having a good old day, you know, driving down the train tracks like totally normal people. Oh my god, this is hard to drive on. <laughs> All right, looks like we did hit the bridge, so I've, I've, made, I've made pretty good progress. I, I'm not gonna obviously try and stick on this thing while driving, so we're just gonna go up the bridge a little bit. And this is probably the best place to get hit anyways. Oh, here it comes. Oh my God, that thing is going so freaking fast. Look at this. Okay, we're going to slow this thing down because I'm a little scared. And I'm just going to pull back here and enjoy the hit. So Jado's still on it. It's doing great. This Jeep's not going to be doing too well, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, 
Yes! I actually thought it would do more damage than that, but there's no big wall or anything behind it, so it's just gonna probably float on by, and it looks like it's actually gonna be dragged on the railroad track. Oh, man, look at this. Look at the amount of smoke going on. My god. Okay, we're gonna speed this up again. Yeah, that sure as hell slowed this thing down. It's, it's actually not getting out of the way, so, uh, yeah. First crash is very realistic to a real-world train crash, in my opinion. Well, this isn't good. Doge Destruction is stalled in the worst place possible, and we got a train coming in, of course. And, uh, I just want to see what happens when we try and push a monster truck in a really thin hole. I mean, uh, either the train's gonna get totally derailed and go flying somewhere, or it might just stop in its place. The, the, the actual monster truck might work like a brake. So we'll see what happens here. It's going full throttle. It's uh, about 60 kilometers an hour. According to it, I feel like it's going faster than that, but we are going really slow right now. And, oh, there we go. One of my assumptions was correct. Uh, I guess technically both. It used it like a brake, and it also flew away. <laughs> Look at the wobble in this thing. You know there's a lot of G-forces going through this thing right now. It is just wobbling like crazy. And derailment confirmed! We actually did it! We were able to de derail the beast. How fast is this actually going? So, yeah, it didn't go too far. Wouldn't it be great if it goes back on the track and... Wait, wait, wait. Am I a freaking psychic? What just happened?! That's amazing! Okay, that, that was like a train trick! And it's totally good, man! It, it's full throttle! It's gonna come back and take out the monster truck from the other side! Alright, round two! Train versus monster truck! Oddly enough, we got the same train and the same... Well, I don't really... I wouldn't really call it a monster truck anymore. It's basically rubble. I want to see, though, can the train actually clean its track and keep going? Oh, oh! No pro... Oh, oh, wait, a little bit of a wobble! It's slowing down. Are, are we derailed? It's go- Why is it saying it's going faster? And what's going on outside? I am really curious right now. It's dragging something, that's for sure. Okay, sorry guys, I can't seem to get to the right camera. Alright, orbit, there we go. Yeah, there's something. Oh, what do we got going on inside there? The doge! I actually saw the doge face! It's tro- It's the doge face! Oh my god, you freaking troll! The doge wins this one! <laughs> oh my god! That couldn't get any better. That was amazing. <laughs> well, I've never seen a train go off of a jump before, so you know we gotta try that too. Now, I did weld this in place. I hope that's enough to uh, actually make this thing ramp up. Uh, I have a sneaky suspicion it's not gonna be enough, though. This is a heavy piece of machinery. Oh, 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 that poor ramp. You poor soul, you. But you did your job. And it is just flying. I really should have put something that I can land in. Uh, so definitely gonna hit some trees here, though. Really haven't noticed much of uh, the soft body physics for the actual train. It doesn't look like it crunches much. Then again, it is a train. Rarely in life do you see trains totally destroyed. And yeah, that was a jumping train. I, it just bounced off a tree, guys. It bounced off a tree and it's going away now, so... Man. Oh, please don't go back on the track. That <laughs> Actually, please do! That would be amazing. I don't think we're gonna get that lucky again, <laughs> Oh, no. New map, this one actually has some crossroads, so of course I wanted to try kind of like a challenge here. So basically at every crossroad we have a more difficult vehicle. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see how far we can get. Of course we got the Gavril D here. Looks like a safari bus did get stalled out on the road. I hope we split that thing in half. I have no idea how much damage a propane tank's gonna do, but I figured we'd throw that on there and... <laughs> For its finale, if it can actually make it here, I'm gonna try and take out the Pembroke, but uh, this is basically the stop. So if we can get all the way to the end, I'm gonna consider it a good job, you know? Gotta say, I doubt we'll get that far though, so we'll see what happens here, and uh, yeah, enjoy some crashes really, really quickly together. So we should be able to get up to almost full speed here, if not full speed. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hit our first car here anytime now. Looks like we're actually not going full speed right now. Well, it's actually lagging a little bit, so let me actually, just for fun, we're gonna slow this down by half, and we'll see what happens. First one, okay, this is what I'm worried about. I think it's just going to collect cars and slow down a little bit, and that's officially what's happening so far. We'll see if we can get the Gavel D to push this thing out of the way. That is not looking good. Oh, I'm actually worried, worried about derailment now. If that thing goes right under the car, uh, the train, Bad things are gonna truly happen, and there it is! Oh man, we didn't even get to the propane tank! Oh, 
That's not good, though. I guess we didn't need any propane. We still got a barbecue going on. All right, so I got rid of the Gavril D in the car because we've already seen those. I want to see if this thing's got enough speed to rip this right in half. No! Amazingly, I mean, it did a great job destroying that thing, but no, it was not enough to rip it in half. My God, that thing stopped this thing in its tracks. Literally. Well, we got to try the propane tank. I mean, I'm just too curious. Oh! That was really cool, but it did not affect it at all. The Pembroke, I mean, that should definitely affect it, right? I mean, it's a boat. It's a huge boat. I don't see this thing getting destroyed either. I don't even think you can actually destroy... Can you destroy the Pembroke? I actually forget. Oh, you can! Well, today we learned, but uh, it did stop us in our tracks. That's for damn sure. And of course, we got to try a head-on collision, guys. So I spawned another one, and uh, we're just going to go and pay a little visit to this guy. Hopefully, both can get up enough speed. Uh, I think I spread them out enough, because uh, there's actually quite a bit of distance in this uh, little town here. So, yeah, going to try a head-on collision. Like I said, though, we haven't seen this thing crunch. I think it's going to have a lot of G-forces hitting each other though, so I can see it already. Oh, this is creepy. This is like my the scariest thing ever to me. Oh, and of course we're gonna hit it on a bridge. Even better. Okay, there we go. Let's see what happens here. And, oh, <laughs> I knew it. They were just gonna have a crazy wobble session and stop dead in their tracks. That was perfect. You could not get a better train crash than that, and unfortunately, it seems like the soft body physics are not the best in these things. But I, I you know what? I, I don't know. Maybe trains just have way too much steel in them. I will say this thing's wobbling like crazy. Obviously, both of them are, so that <laughs> I got everything everywhere still. But uh, yeah, got to at least try the head-on collision once, and uh, that went pretty well. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. All right, here we go. Wait for it. It's not one camper, guys, but five. I think five anyways. Yeah, we got five here. Uh, yeah, campers are probably my favorite thing to destroy in this just because how detailed they are. And I wanted to see if it could push all these things off. <laughs> I mean, this whole episode, surprise, surprise, is just going to be train crashes. And uh, amazingly, it seems to be doing really good at pushing these things out of the way. Is it going to get these final two, though, before it slows all the way down? Let's actually go back to our view here. I'm going to go... Oh, my God, I got too many things. Oh, my bad. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to see how fast we were going. And it's not looking good for the train. I think the campers kind of won this one. I mean, the train's still going, though, so who wins it? I don't know. Okay, I don't know how this one's going to go, but I just dream of making a train fly off this thing. So I'm actually going to try and drive this. We'll give it a shot, see what happens here. And again, I still have too, too many things on this, but uh, I don't think we're going to need too much speed. We just need to align this right. And, oh, man. Okay, you know what? I don't think transport trucks are supposed to be able to drive on train tracks because this ain't going so well. Hold on. We'll get a little bit of speed. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, I, I think I, I think I got it connected here. We're actually going to be able to go a decent speed. Oh, I have no idea where the, the train is. It's got to be coming soon. Oh, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. That's all I want. Come on, baby. Come on. Here we go. And I am so excited because that was actually able to go pretty damn fast. <laughs> but the plow. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. That plow just got combusted, man. That thing didn't last a second. I've never seen that plow bend too much, so I thought it'd, you know, at least have a little bit of a chance. God damn! No, it didn't. Not at all. All right, guys, and on that, I think we're going to wrap up this episode of BeamNG. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, checking out the legendary Rio Grande. Now, the developer of this actually has about... I think like six or seven trains in the works. The, all of them are in beta. Uh, this was the first one that was released. So if you guys like these trains, there's going to be a lot more coming. And I'm excited to see where BeamNG goes with this because there's more and more being added to it. And uh, it's just becoming one awesome vehicle sandbox. So thanks so much for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.